Welcome to the stage, Sarah Downey. Hi, guys. Tonight I'm going to be giving a presentation on how drinking makes me a better mommy. But here's the deal. Before I get into everything, i got to tell you, the owner of this building right here wouldn't let my baby in to present with me tonight. Serious bummer because all of my presentation notes were written on his soft spot. <laughs> Anyways, babies are awesome when they're born, then they turn into monsters, yada, yada, yada. Here's a picture of my adorable baby being selfish. <laughs> no, seriously, babies are really awesome, and it's very unfortunate that he couldn't be allowed to be in here tonight because kind of the point was to show you that they are awesome and kick-ass sidekicks. But babies are also extremely demanding. They want what they want, and they want it now. Not 10 minutes ago, not before they woke up screaming. They want it now. Very difficult to deal with. I'm not even going to say anything. Yeah. Mmm. And this is a picture of my son plotting terror in his jumperoo of doom. Babies like to attack when you're least expecting it, mostly when you're sleeping at 3 a.m. right after you fell into that nice restorative sleep. They don't give a shit. You're getting up. So with all this kind of sleep deprivation and new parenting responsibilities and all the stresses of life, what are you supposed to do? I suggest have a beer. It'll help you unwind. It'll help you relax. It will help you get your feeding under you. I'm not going to get too into this, but I am going to tell you, scientifically, having a beer has been proven to promote breast milk production, a big deal for nursing mothers. In full disclosure, it can also make the milk taste bitter, which might make your baby not want to drink it. So having a child is one of the greatest experiences ever and they're like little sidekicks whose ass you just have to wipe every so often big deal but he encourages me to drink and some of my best ideas about parenting <laughs> they come to me when i've had a beer or two i've got to tell you one of the best ways i have found to save money since i became a mom a stuffed bacon babysitter you pop that bad boy in his crib and you turn on the sizzle feature, you can take a shower. You've got 20 minutes. Your baby's going to stare at it trying to figure out what it is. That's thinking. More economics. Rabies shots are cheaper than babysitters. It's a fact, people. Another great idea I had was to start branding the baby as early as possible, really market him to an audience. So we decided to jump right in headfirst to baby modeling. This is him doing his sexy snarl. As you can see, I'm probably going to have to go to a European market. True story, drinking has also helped me cope with random old people touching my baby in public. This old bitch came up. Duncan was about four weeks old. She grabbed his foot with her death hand. First thing I said without even thinking was, ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> I've asked other parents how they're dealing with being a parent and drinking. All of these folks say to have a shot, have a beer, have some wine. It helps you keep your sanity. I think it's a good point because it's true. After you've been at work all day, you're stressed out, your baby's screaming, they probably smell like shit because most of the time they smell like shit. It's nice to have a beer. It's a great stress release. It's science. There's, no <laughs> There's not much more you have to say. It just makes sense. If you want to unwind and socialize, have a beer. And it's a cyclical effect. If the mother's happy, the family's going to be happy. Everyone's more relaxed. Everyone's getting along. Everyone's having a good time. Baby's getting to bed on time. Mama's going to have another beer. Daddy might get some. Everyone's going to be happy. You guys can check me out on Twitter. I'm SportsRacer6. 
You can follow my blog and see more pictures of the amazing baby who got kicked out of here tonight. Have a good night.